Tension is rising between Formula One drivers and the FIA after a recent statement by the FIA president sparked outrage. Many drivers, including Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen, were offended by comments that they felt were disrespectful and even racially insensitive. This has led to a heated backlash, with several drivers openly criticizing the FIA and demanding action. So what exactly was said, and why are the drivers so angry? This weekend's Singapore Grand Prix could play a huge role in deciding this year's Formula One championship. With only seven races left, both the driver and constructor titles are up for grabs. The Marina Bay street circuit is known for its unpredictable nature, with a bumpy surface that often gives faster cars a hard time. Last year, it was the only race Red Bull didn't win, and Max Verstappen himself said he'd be lucky to even make it to Q3 this time. One of the biggest topics this weekend has been McLaren's rear wing. Ferrari claims the wing is so flexible that it's creating a mini DRS effect, giving McLaren an unfair advantage. This flexibility supposedly helped Oscar Piastri fend off Ferrari's Charles Leclerc for the entire race in Baku. Despite Ferrari's protests, the FIA, the sport's governing body, declared that McLaren's wing is legal, stating it passed all flexibility tests. The FIA's stance on McLaren's rear wing has caused frustration, particularly for Ferrari. The governing body also mentioned they are reviewing the data from the Baku Grand Prix and considering further actions for the future. Adding to the drama, FIA President Mohammed Ben Sulayem's recent statement sparked outrage, especially from Lewis Hamilton, due to its perceived racial undertones. While McLaren's competitors may not be thrilled with what they witnessed in Baku, they are left with little recourse as the FIA has deemed McLaren's rear wing legal. A McLaren spokesperson confidently stated that the car fully complied with all deflection tests and adhered to the regulations. This highlights an important point. Despite efforts by the FIA to reduce the use of flexible aerodynamic parts over the years, teams can only be held to the current scrutiny tests available. How does the FIA test's flexibility? The FIA's deflection test plays a key role in determining the legality of aerodynamic components. During these tests, static loads are applied to various parts of the car while it's stationary. If the component doesn't move beyond a specified limit, it's deemed legal. While Formula One regulations require all aerodynamic parts to be rigid and immobile, the FIA uses these deflection tests to determine whether a part passes. McLaren's rear wing passed all tests, so it remains within the rules. McLaren has now won three of the last five races, and driver Oscar Piastri, who clinched the victory in Baku, is satisfied with the rear wing's performance. It's legal, we're tested frequently, and it passes every time, Piastri commented, adding that while the wing is performing well, it's not the sole reason behind McLaren's competitive edge. He emphasized that their success is the result of a strong all-around performance, not just the rear wing. Lando Norris, aiming for his first driver's championship, remains focused on closing the gap to Max Verstappen. To catch up, Norris needs to gain around 8.5 points per race. When asked about the controversy surrounding McLaren's rear wing, Norris stood by his team's design, praising their technical innovation. Other teams have also tested their cars thoroughly, with everything being declared legal by the FIA. Lando Norris emphasized that McLaren is simply operating within the rules. We're doing what we can, and that's what Formula One is all about, exploring everything within the regulations. He added that McLaren has passed every FIA test and the governing body is satisfied, so he's proud of the team's efforts. Despite McLaren's legal standing, the FIA's statement that they would continue to monitor the rear wing has angered title rivals. Ferrari and Red Bull have been particularly vocal, with Ferrari's Charles Leclerc mentioning how McLaren's top speed without DRS made it nearly impossible for him to pass Oscar Piastri during the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. Team principal Fred Vasseur is reportedly furious with the FIA's handling of the situation, expressing frustration over the wing's performance advantage. Leclerc acknowledged internal discussions within Ferrari but deferred further comments to Fred Vasseur, hinting at a tense atmosphere within the team. 
If the FIA chooses not to act against McLaren's rear wing, Ferrari's chances in both the Drivers' and Constructors' Championships could be severely impacted. The speed advantage that McLaren enjoys would make overtaking Piastri or Norris incredibly difficult, costing Ferrari critical points as the season winds down. Though Red Bull remains in the fight, trailing McLaren by only 20 points in the Constructors' Championship, they're currently struggling to match their rivals' pace. Their performance issues have persisted, and with only minor upgrades planned for Singapore, including a front brake cooling adjustment, they face an uphill battle. Max Verstappen currently holds a strong 59-point lead over Lando Norris in the Drivers' Championship. However, if Red Bull performs poorly in Singapore, as Verstappen predicts, and fails to make it into Q3, that gap could be significantly reduced. Journalist Toby Greer recently reported that Sergio Perez, in an interview, called McLaren's car out of regulation and illegal. Interestingly, Red Bull later corrected this, stating Perez had called the car legal. However, without the interview footage, it's unclear if Red Bull is trying to cover up what Perez really said. McLaren's rear wing isn't the only controversy stirring up the F1 paddock. FIA President Mohammed Ben Sulayem has a history of making inappropriate comments at the worst times. From misogynistic remarks to criticizing Formula One's estimated value of $20 billion, Ben Sulayem has often overstepped his boundaries. However, he's been relatively quiet lately, until now. Ben Sulayem's latest controversy. Ahead of the Singapore Grand Prix, Ben Sulayem decided to tackle the use of foul language in F1 broadcasts. In a bizarre statement, he compared motorsport to rap music, saying, We're not rappers. They say the F word so many times per minute. We're not on that. His attempt to push for a change that no one was concerned about has raised eyebrows, not just for the odd timing, but also for the questionable language used in addressing the issue. FIA President Mohammed Ben Sulayem's comments on swearing in F1 have sparked backlash from several drivers. His comparison of motorsport to rap music saying, we're not rappers, was especially controversial. Lewis Hamilton expressed concern over the racial undertones in Ben Sulayem's words, pointing out that the comments seemed to stereotype rappers, many of whom are black. Hamilton said, it kind of points towards we're not like them, so I think those were the wrong choice of words, and there's a racial element there. Max Verstappen, the world championship leader, also disagreed with Ben Sulayem's stance on swearing, but for different reasons. Verstappen argued that the focus should be on Formula One management, FOM, for broadcasting moments of swearing, rather than the drivers themselves. A lot of people say bad things when they're full of adrenaline, Verstappen said, suggesting that other sports handle such moments by not broadcasting them. He believes F1 is different because things are often aired for entertainment purposes, which leads to discussions and controversies on social media. Max Verstappen, at 26 years old, doesn't see swearing as a big deal, even in front of young audiences. He argued that swearing is a part of life, and eventually, everyone will use foul language. What are we, five-year-olds? Even if a five- or six-year-old is watching, they'll eventually swear, Verstappen stated. He also emphasized that in high-pressure situations like racing, it's natural to vent frustration. He found Ben Sulayem's stance old-fashioned, as society has generally become more accepting of such language in recent decades. Lando Norris also shared his perspective on swearing in F1. He believes it's part of the driver's raw emotions and passion, especially in moments of high intensity. You're listening to the rawness of drivers and their feelings, Norris said, explaining that he finds it exciting and genuine when drivers express themselves honestly, even if that involves swearing. He acknowledged that while some might not want kids to hear it, the focus should be on the driver's passion rather than censoring their language. Norris argued that banning swearing would take something away from the sport, making it less authentic. Several top F1 drivers, including Charles Leclerc and Sergio Perez, share similar views on the matter. The general consensus among them is that swearing should not be banned. They believe that it's an authentic expression of their emotions and part of the excitement that fans enjoy. While they understand concerns about younger audiences, they don't think censorship is the right approach and they value the freedom to express their frustration or excitement in the heat of the moment. 
So what do you think of the drivers declaring war on the FIA after the offensive statement? Comment below your views and subscribe for more.